my dear brothers and sisters whether you believe it or not we all need to understand one aspect that is our sins will follow us we all have to go through the consequence of our own sins unless we repent and be united to Christ Jesus paid the price for us and for our sin, sins if we are not united to Jesus Christ then you will have to we will have to pay the price alone and we won't be able to do it in fullness i have seen witnessed in my own life and also in others life and i have come across many families who are going through the same experiences and i have seen people be lifted who are in the high positions falling down from there within no second within no time i've seen people ordinary people being lifted up financially in many other blessings within no time my dear brothers and sisters everything is the work of god many time people when they are in the high positions you know high prosperity they think it's their hard work the pride controls them fills their heart and then soon or later we have witnessed the same people falling down from that high positions and becoming nothing because the pride was controlling them we read like this in the word of god for samuel chapter 2 verse 2 onwards for samuel chapter 2 verse 2 onwards we read like this the word of god speaks to us and the word says there is no one no holy one like the lord no one besides you there is no rock like our god god is our rock and there is no other rock like our god verse 3 talk no more so very proudly never speak anything proudly as if everything is your own work let not arrogance come from your mouth for the lord is a god of knowledge and by him actions are weighed god weighs our actions god weighs our attitude god weighs our reactions god weighs our, our every every thought and every word verse 4 the bows of the mighty are broken the bows of the mighty are bo- broken but the feeble gird on strength the mighty people are falling down and become broken and the feeble are given strength was 5 those who were full have hired themselves out for bread those who were full once upon a time they were full but now hired themselves out for bread but those who are hungry are fat with spoil now the barren has born seven but she who has many children is forlorn anything can happen any time my dear brothers and sisters we have nothing to be proud of we have nothing to be proud of the lord says those who are full now yet they are begging for bread those who are hungry now they are full of fat they have given more the barren has born seven but she who has many children is forlorn was six the lord kills and brings to life he brings down to sheol and he raises up god can raise you up god can witness to all these now let's all examine our conscience and see do we have this pride controlling our thoughts and actions looking at our prosperity looking at our fame and name and power and position strength and body health and beauty and everything have you ever taken boast of it and how you taken how you have ever thought of 
about it proudly how you ever experience pride controlling you then be very careful and repent and beg for forgiveness the lord will have mercy on you and me